The Boom XB-1 Baby Boom is a one-third scale trijet supersonic demonstrator designed by Boom Supersonic as part of development of the Boom Overture Supersonic Transport Airliner. Powered by three General Electric G85s, it is planned to maintain Mach 2.2 with over 1,000 nautical miles, 1,900 kilometers, 1,200 miles of range. Taxi tests began in December 2022. The design was unveiled in Denver on November 15, 2016, and it was initially intended to make its first subsonic flight in late 2017, powered by three General Electric CG610 turbojets, a civilian J-85, with subsequent supersonic flight testing at Edwards Air Force Base. By April 2017, enough financing was secured to build and fly it. Its preliminary design review was completed by June 2017, with a switch of engine to the military version of the J-85 to take advantage of its extra thrust. It was then anticipated that flight tests would start late 2018. In 2017, the composite wing spar was load-tested while being heated in a hydraulic test bed at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 149 degrees Celsius, above the heat soak operational temperature. First expected supersonic flight slipped to 2019. By July 2018, the aerodynamic design was completed, the horizontal tail assembled, and the engines received. The Spaceship Co., manufacturer of Virgin Galactic's vehicles, was announced as a partner for flight tests in Novav, California. Flight tests were delayed again for 2019 due to challenging aerodynamics and further engine change. From the 3,500 pounds force, 16,000 N, J8521 to the 4,300 off, 19 km, J8515. The XB1 design went through three sets of wind tunnel tests. The first indicated that predicted calibration was off by 30%. The second set of tests confirmed accurate calibration, and a third set of tests confirmed design safety. Tunnel testing finished in November 2018, including takeoff and landing with gear doors impact on stability, as well as supersonic inlet testing. These tests had taken a decade on Concorde. The carbon fiber layup of the fuselage halves was to begin in early 2019 for final assembly of the forward fuselage at the beginning of spring. With total investment rising to $200 million, Boom was funded for XB-1 flight testing to the end of 2020. At the June 2019 Paris Air Show, Blake Skoll announced the date for first flight was pushed out to 2020, six months later than previously planned after including a stability augmentation system for better safety at high speed and at takeoff and landing. In February 2020, with the completion of Boom's second simulator, Tests began on XB-1 flight controls and system integration. Static wing loading tests were carried out in March 2020, and the wings were mated to the fuselage in April, with the aft fuselage nearing completion in mate engines and landing gear were installed later in August and September 2020. On October 7, 2020, Boone rolled out the XP-1 in a promotional, with an announcement that the maiden flight was expected in 2021. In early 2021, it was expected to be flight tested around September 2022. On July 26, 2021, Boom began testing and evaluating a forward-looking vision system, FOVS, as part of preparations for flight tests of the XB-1. In January 2022, Boom began conducting engine run-ups using the XB-1 in preparation for taxi tests and the first flight later in 2022. In May 2022, Ground testing was completed with engine run-up done on all three engines. Undercarriage and flight systems were tested and deemed ready. Taxi runs and actual flight runs were expected in late 2022. Further delays as of February 2023 pushed the expected first flight to mid-2023. The XB-1 Baby Boom is 68 feet, 21 meters long, has a 17 feet, 5.2 meters wingspan, and a 13,000. 500 pound, 6,100 kilograms, maximum takeoff weight. Powered by three non-afterburning, dry, J8515 engines with variable geometry inlets and exhaust, the prototype should be able to sustain Mach 2.2 with more than 1,000 mating, 1,900 kilometers, 1,200 miles of range. It has a planned two-crew cockpit 
with only one seat being fully developed in the demonstrator, and features a chined four body and swept trailing edges. For thermal control, the environmental control system uses the fuel as a heat sink to absorb cabin heat. The space for a second seat is taken up by testing equipment. The XP1 is constructed of lightweight composites titanium and a 286 materials for the hot leading edges and 307 degrees Fahrenheit, 153 degrees Celsius nose and epoxy materials for cooler parts are provided by Dutch 10 Kate Advanced Composites, high temperature materials supplier for the SpaceX Falcon 9. The airframe will be primarily intermediate modulus carbon fiber slash epoxy with high modulus fibers for the wing spar caps and bismolimite prepreg for the high temperature leading edges and ribs. The rear section of fuselage containing the engines is made from 90% titanium and 10% of 286 stainless steel alloys. Boom Supersonic has received an FAA experimental certificate of airworthiness for its XB1 technology demonstrator clearing the way for flight testing to get underway at Movea Air in Spaceport, California. The FAA's permit to fly the 71 feet long, delta-winged aircraft comes as Boom begins high-speed taxi tests, with a run-up to 60 knot achieved on August 23. Previously, the XB-1 achieved a top taxi speed of 10 knot at Boom's site in Centennial, Colorado, before the aircraft was transferred to California for the flight test program earlier this year. XP-1 has provided the company with valuable learnings, including the development of a robust safety culture. In preparation for flight, Boom's test pilots have completed hundreds of hours in the simulator for aircraft evaluation, operations development, training and human factors, assessments to achieve the highest levels of safety. The test pilots also maintain flight proficiency in a T-38 trainer aircraft, the same aircraft that will be used as a chase plane for all flight tests of XP-1. To further increase safety, the test pilots will use the T-38 to practice formation flying. XP-1 features a carbon composite and titanium fuselage measuring 71 feet in length. Its UGIF, modified delta, wing enables safe operation at takeoff and landing as well as supersonic speeds. The three General Electric J85 engines that power XP-1 produce a combined maximum thrust of 12,300 pounds of force. Plus. The supersonic demonstrator aircraft rolled out of Boom's hangar in Centennial, Colorado in October 2020. Since then, rigorous testing of all of XB-1's internal subsystems has been completed. Upgraded landing gear and supersonic engine intakes were also installed on XB-1, both of which increased performance and safety. In addition to the FAA certification, Boom has also secured letters of authorization that will allow test pilots Bill Doc Shoemaker and Tristan Geppetto Brandenburg to fly XB-1 over the Mojave Desert. Coincidentally, this airspace is where Charles Chuck Yeager first broke the sound barrier in the Bell X-1 in 1947. I'm looking forward to flying XB-1 here, building on the achievements of other talented engineers and pilots who inspire us every day to make supersonic travel mainstream, Shoemaker adds. Said Goon CEO Blake Skoll, the recent progress made towards XB-1's first flight reflects the team's collective efforts to build and safely fly the world's first independently developed supersonic jet. Across its development, XB-1 has validated Goom's approach to airplane design and enabled engineers to leverage advanced tools like computational fluid dynamics CFD, which are critical components of Overture's development. Overture is the sustainable supersonic airliner from Boom that will fly at Mach 1.7, or about twice the speed of today's fastest airliners, and is designed to run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel, SAF.